Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of particle size distribution curves and what information we can get given such a curve. So first, the sizes of particles that make up soil vary over a wide range. Uh, soils are generally called gravel, sand, suit, or clay, depending on the predominant size of particles within that soil. And to describe soils by their particle size, several organizations have developed particle size classifications. Among them, the two most relevant ones to geotechnical engineers are the ASHTO system, which is proposed and developed by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. And the second one is uh, called the Unified Soil Classification System, which now becomes almost universally accepted and has been adopted by the American Society for Testing and Materials, or ASTM. In the ASHTO system, soils are grouped into four types. Gravels are particles between 76.2 uh, mm and 2 mm. Sands are particles between 2 and 0.075 mm. Suits are between 0.075 and 0.002 and clays are particles that are smaller than 0.002. For the Unified Soil Classification, or USCS, system, soils are grouped into uh, three types. For gravels, um, it's between 76.2 and 4.75. Sands are particles between 4.75 and 0.075. And fines, which include seals and clays, are particles that are smaller than 0.075 millimeter. And gravels and sands, they are called together, they are called coarse grained soil. And fines are of course seals and clays. And to determine the size range of particles in a soil mass, uh, we use mechanical analysis methods. And there are two commonly used mechanical analysis methods. The first one is called sieve analysis. So sieve analysis is mostly for coarse particles. This is sieve analysis can be used to distinguish particle sizes larger than 0.075 millimeter. And the second type of method is called hydrometer analysis. And hydrometer analysis is used for fine particles, basically anything that is smaller than 0.075 millimeter. I'm going to talk more details about each of these mechanical analysis methods in separate videos. Uh, here, we're going to just take results of these analysis methods and plot them in what we call particle size distribution curve. And to illustrate this particle size distribution curve, I'm going to take an example here. The table here is a typical set of results you get from a sieve analysis. Uh, so in this table, on the first column, this is sieve number. So these are standard sieve numbers. Larger sieves on top, smaller sieve at the bottom. For each of these sieve, you know the corresponding opening in millimeter, which is basically the green size you're going to plot on your particle size distribution curve. And the last column of this table is the corresponding percent finer for each opening size. And we're going to take this table and plot them on a curve. If you look at the right hand side, so I have the y-axis as percent finer, or sometimes you see people call this percent passing in linear scale. And then on the x-axis, I have the green size in millimeter, but in log scale. And also, it, this is very common in geotechnical engineering, in soil mechanics, you have larger particle sizes on the left-hand side, and you plot the smaller particle sizes on the right-hand side. In different fields, in other disciplines, you may see smaller particle sizes on the left and larger on the right. But soil mechanics, uh, this is very common. Larger on the left, smaller on the right. Then if you plot your data on this semi-log plot, so you plot the opening, 
this is your x-axis value and the percent finer as y-axis so these are your data points basically results of your sieve analysis and you connect these dots you get a curve that's what we call particle size distribution curve or PSD curve so this PST curve gives you they say uh, what particle sizes are present in your soil and what are the corresponding percentage. So next I'm going to talk about how do we use this PSD curve, what information we can extract given a PSD curve. The first set of information we can extract given a PSD curve is the green size corresponding to a percent finer. And we quantify this as dx. So dx is basically the green size corresponding to x percent finer. And as an example, first let's look at d10 value. So d10 value by definition is the green size corresponding to 10 percent finer. And d10 is also called effective size. And this is used in say estimating the hydraulic conductivity of soil. So for, to get this d10 value from a given PSD curve, first start with the y-axis, that's your 10% finer mark. And then you find the corresponding x value. So that x value is basically by definition is your d10. And for this example here, this d10 is slightly smaller than 0.1. Remember, smaller particles are plotted on the right-hand side. So this is slightly than 0.1, so it's about 0.095 millimeter. So that's D10. And another example, let's look at D30. So D30 by definition is the particle size corresponding to 30% finer. So start with 30% mark on the y-axis, and then you find your corresponding D30 value. For this example, PSD curve, D30 is about 0.2. Okay. The last example, let's find D60 from this curve. So that's green size corresponding to 60% finer. So start, we start from this 60% mark on the y-axis. And then the corresponding x value is D60. So for this example, D60 is approximately 0.4. Okay. So all units are uh, millimeter. So that's the first set of information you can get given a PSD. That's a green size corresponding to a percent finer. The second type of information you can get from PSD are actually two coefficients. And these two coefficients are used to quantify the uniformity of soil. And they are used in soil classifications. The first one is called the uniformity coefficient, C sub u. And C sub u is defined as the ratio of D60 and over D10. So D60 and D10 we just defined in the previous slide. So given this PSG curve, you can read D60 and d10 values from this curve and if you substitute the numbers we just got from this curve for this example here so this is um, we just got d60 is 0 0.4 and d10 is 0 0.095 so for this particular example um, cu is 4.21 so that's the first coefficient. The second coefficient you can get from a PSD curve is called coefficient of gradation, C sub C. And C sub C is defined as D30 square over D60 times D10. Again, for this example plot here, we just read uh, this D30 value from uh, the curve, which is 0.2. So if you plug in numbers for D30, and D60 is 0 0.4, and D10 is 0 0.095. So you can get a C sub C value 
coefficient of gradation for this example, which is 1.05. Okay. So you can get these two coefficients. Again, as I mentioned, these coefficients are used in this uh, quantify the gradation of soils. So you can use you can use these two values to determine if the soil is well or poorly graded. Specifically, uh, if it's a gravel soil, uh, for for the gravel soil to be considered well graded, uh, it must have CU value greater than four and CC value between one and three. So this is uh, you have to meet both criteria. Uh, for that soil to be classified as well graded, uh, otherwise the soil will be considered poorly graded. If the soil is sand, uh, then it must have CU value greater than 6 and CC value between 1 and 3 to be considered well graded, otherwise the soil is considered poorly graded. So that's a second type of information, two coefficients, CC and CU, that you can get from a PSD curve. And the last type of, or the third type of information you can get from a PSD is actually you can get the percentage of different soil types. So you can get percentage of gravel, sand, or fines given a PSD curve. So again, let's use this example here. So I'm going to use the USCS size classification system, uh, since this is the most widely used one. So recall in the USCS system, gravels are 62, uh, 76.2 to 4.75. Sands are between 4.75 and 0.075. Fines are smaller than 0.075. So to get the, say, the percentage of gravel, first, you identify these two values on the curve. So for this PSD curve, uh, the largest particle size are 10. Um, so we don't need to worry about that 76.2. Then the 4.75 is highlighted here. So this value is 4.75. Okay. And from this curve, if you look at the percent finer, you notice that 100% of particles in this soil are smaller or finer than 4.75. So from this, we know that the percent of gravel is going to be zero because 100% of particles are finer than 4.75. And gravels are particles that are larger than 4.5. So you get percentage. So this is percent finer than 4.75, which you read from PSD. So that's 100%. So your percent of gravel is this is zero. And similarly for sand, uh, we need to find or identify this lower bound, which is 0.075 on this curve. So this is 0.075. Okay. And the corresponding percent is about 6.3%. Okay. So percent of sand is basically anything that are finer than 4.75 but larger than 0.075. Okay. So for this particular example, we have 100% finer than 4.75 and 6.3% smaller than 0.075. So in both values are read from the curve. Then the percent of fine sand is 93.7. So that's percent of sand. And finally, you can read the percent of fines. So percent of fines basically are, is the percent finer than 0.075, which we just got directly from the curve, uh, which is 6.3%. Uh, okay. So that's um, basically percent of different soil types uh, that you can get given a PSD curve. If you're using, say, actual system, you can get gravel, sand, suits, and clays following similar procedure. And finally, um, there are different types of PSD curves. Um, so the first type of PSD curve is called, um, let's say for well-graded soil. Uh, if you look at this example here, 
a well-graded soil has a PSD curve that spread over a wide range. So you have a relatively wide range of particle sizes in, uh, presented, distributed in the soil mass. So that's a, a characteristic of a, a well-graded soil PSD curve. And the second type is called gap graded. So for gap graded, you basically have two narrow or uniformly distributed particle sizes present in the soil. So this is called a gap graded. And the last type of PSD curve is called poorly graded. So for poorly graded, you can tell the particle sizes actually cover a very narrow range, meaning you have a very uh, small range of particle sizes. They are relatively uniform, so it's poorly graded. So that's a third type of PSD curve. So that concludes this video on particle size distribution curve, what this curve is, what information you can get this curve. And as I mentioned, more details about these two mechanical analysis methods sieve analysis and hydrometer analysis uh, will be presented in separate videos.